My name is David Namarnik, and I'm CEO of Pacific Coast Fresh. I've been with the company since 1977, which is the year we founded. My name is Nancy Bergato. Um, I'm a co-owner with my brother David. I am part of the senior leadership team that oversees all the departments here at Pacific Coast Fruit. My name is uh, Tom Bergato, and I am the president of Pacific Coast Fresh Company. My name is David Bergato and I'm the Director of Operations for our Kent facility. My name is Emily Bergato. I am part of the third generation of Pacific Coast Fruit um, and have been a part of the company in many ways um, ever since I was born. My name is Kathleen Quandy. I'm the VP of Human Resources. My name is Ted Hendricks. I've been, I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Pacific Coast Fresh. I've been with the company for 33 years. Um, Pacific Coast Fresh originally was named Pacific Coast Fruit. So we have changed from Pacific Coast Fruit to Pacific Coast Fresh. So please forgive me if I or anyone else in my family may revert back to the fruit. But we are Pacific Coast Fresh. It was actually a vision my parents had. They had this dream of starting their own family business. Coming over as an immigrant from Croatia when he was 10 years old, my father-in-law worked for his father-in-law actually for many years. Felt that having his own business and then being able to, to pass that on to his kids was something that he always dreamt to do. They sat down with my brother and I and my sister and our family basically and said, hey, we want to start a family business. What do you folks think? And so mortgaged the house and literally started a business up. In 1994, my father-in-law started to slow down a little bit. Um, he did a lot of the buying, a lot of selling, and so then David Nemarnik took over as president of the company. Um, I came on board in 1993, and so this is my 31st year. About 10 years later, David wanted to um, start to kind of see what the business looked like from a more, uh, I guess, executive level. So we started to enter into strategic planning, which afforded us to look at restructuring our business and restructuring our titles. So it was about 2007 I became president of the company and David became CEO and his dad was chairman. We've always looked at the future and uh, talked about uh, excellence in operations and how we service our customers. But one of the keys to that is, is innovation. And so through innovation, we try to uh, stay ahead of our competitors out there as far as servicing our customers. The example I was given by my parents was always to look to the future, was always to look, how do we get better? How do we do a little better? How do we innovate? Being open to new ideas. Started this company in 1977 and they started this company on the foundation that four walls and a roof make a building, but people make a business. And they instilled a value that as a company, we need to take good care of our customers, our vendors, and also our employees because they're gonna make us successful. So I mean, our values are quality, service, integrity, purposeful growth, sustainability, and family. The two most important ones to me are integrity and family and working here I've really gotten to see that those are truly lived out every day. This is one that truly the talk is walked and you know you think about when you look at our list of values and that we have so many of them are around employees and employee development um, that I think that's really unique. A big part of that is is our values and the pillars are of our culture. Through those we um, have a lot of lively discussions around as you filter the the complexity of our industry through our cultural values and to set uh, strategy and tactics around that. Quality, service, and integrity since 1977 was our tagline for many, many years um, and it was actually something that we came um, up with when we were sitting around at a dinner table and we were trying to understand what did the outside world see our company and that's when we formulated those three terms. Uh, years later we started to add a few more taglines like purposeful growth, innovation, sustainability, and then what really was most important was family. You know, I give credit to our success and for our continuing success to my mom and dad. They had some really strong core values of mutual trust, respect, integrity, hard work, kindness, things that were fundamental. This is who they were as people, but they instilled it into the, into the company culture, if you will. Amos, you know, we had, Tom had, uh, the, you know the little rubber bracelets you get, like Live Strong and all the ones that had, we had um, red rubber bracelets 
um, wristlets that were WWED, what would AMOL do? And we still use that. Um, sometimes when we're making a decision, if we're at a difficult decision, what would Kathleen and Amel do? What would Kathleen and Amel think? For us to win the Oregon State Business Renewal Award, we take that as, a, as an honor. I think having that kind of uh, acknowledgement that maybe we're doing a few things right is really a great honor. We appreciate it. To win the Business Renewal Award from the Center for Family Enterprise means a lot to me. It's really just validation that we're, we're on the right track and it also is especially great winning it from an amazing school like Oregon State. It's an honor because for my mom and dad, business was everything. And I don't mean that they ignored our family because they didn't. And that's what I, why I say honor. Business was not just business, it was reaching out to others, being authentic to who they were as a family business. To, to win this award, speaking for our family, is it's an honor. This is a family that I have been proud and honored to be able to be a part of, but having them get this award and seeing the legacy, especially as my children get more involved, that's the greatest privilege that I've ever had.